What is up TRF reviewers? I am Moose for the win. We are back with another Transformers review. Today we're looking at Studio Series 86 Leader Class Dinobot Swoop. I've been waiting for this guy. He was the last one in the collection that I needed. I now have all of the Dinobots and I am super happy about them. Normally I do these reviews Dinobot to Robot Mode, but because he comes packaged in Robot Mode, I figured it'd be better to just do it that way. Um, accessories he comes with two swords he comes with his and he comes with one for grimlock my grimlock finally has a sword my biggest gripe about the studio series line was that they didn't come with swords and swoop fixed that for grimlock i love it um he stands a little bit shorter than grimlock he's a much skinnier and lankier than he is as he should be but with the wingspan and just how heavy he is, he fits in just fine scale-wise. Uh, moving on to transformation. You got, well, I should probably talk about these. He's got his own little version of like Seeker guns. You can put them on here so he can mock Starscream. You can hold them pistol style. And then for a little bit of customization, you can take these gold bits off. And you can put in blast effects or just have them look like big old revolvers. Up to you. Put those to the side. Transformation for Swoop is very simple because you're basically just folding his legs up over his back. But there's a little bit of detail in there. So we're going to first collapse his arms. Hide his hands away. Straighten them up. Collapse the feet. Take this panel, move that there, and connects into his forehead. I'm gonna separate the chest slightly, clear the way for his jaw, move that up. And then we're going to accordion down the whole torso bit until we get a snap. That. And then this little neck flap is gonna hide away in there to fill in the gap. And you can either have him looking down like that or looking up like that, but that neck flap will kind of just offer a little bit of an illusion of the hole being filled. And then we're gonna straighten the arms, peg this into the wing, peg that into the wing. Extend the wings, bring that out. And then just simply move the ankles into the back. And there you have swoop in dino mode. Very simple. Highly articulated wings, but no articulation whatsoever in the body other than the head and the neck. Little blaster port if you can find a little fire effect for him to go dive bombing people. Um, no port for you to put a flight stand on him. That's one thing I wish they would have added was the ability for flight stands. And then the arms, they don't really peg into the wings very well. But what you can do is move them ever so slightly out. So that way they're somewhat flushed with the wings when you're doing flight poses. But for what he is, he was basically a brick with wings and they replicated that as best they could and it gave the robot mode insanely good articulation. Um, ankle, tilt, all the whole nine yards that you come to expect from modern day Transformers. Uh, and then you can just store the guns anywhere on the wings and yeah there's really not too much to say about him other than he is what he needed to be he is a cute fun little blue brick kind of hope they'll release the red version but uh yeah i love him he fits in well with the other dinobots and the collection is now complete and it was worth the wait and that is Studio Series 86 Swoop.